In Amos chapter 9, verse 13 to verse 15, we are going to read that very quickly. It says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper. Yes, the plowman, the one who just began, will overtake the one who is already harvesting. This is a clear indication that the hand of the supernatural is somewhere around the corner. This is a clear indication that God is taking over the place of man in order for the impossibilities around man to be made possible by God. For the plowman to overtake the reaper simply suggests that time is going to be brought together. It simply suggests that time is going to be cut short. It simply suggests that somebody is going to, to say like Joshua to the son, stand still until I finish my business for the day. I am here to announce to you and to prophesy over your life that the son will stand still for you. All oh, the systems will be cut short for you. Everything will be shortened for you. The race will be shortened for you because you are about to get to the finish line before those who began the race even before you were born why god is involved somebody shout i am catching up when it is said that the plowman the one who just began to prepare the ground for agricultural purposes is going to have a sudden harvest ah it means that John chapter 4 is about to manifest where Jesus said in verse 38 I am sending you not into the field as a laborer but I am sending you into other people's labor in order for you to reap where you have not bestowed labor uh, it means that somebody is going to see all of a sudden harvest a harvest you didn't plant a harvest you didn't water a harvest you didn't labor for because the Lord is whispering to my ears right now as I'm speaking he said tell them why they were praying it was a labor why they were giving it was a labor why they were waiting on me it was a labor I said they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles because overtaking is allowed there are people who began the race and they've been running all these years. They've been running all this while. But why they were running, you were waiting. Oh my God, I feel like preaching this afternoon. Why they were running, you were waiting. Lord, which direction are you taking me? Lord, what do you have me do? Lord, I am just depending on you. Lord, I'm just looking up to you. And they are waiting serving the Lord. They are waiting in preaching the gospel they are waiting winning souls for the lord they are waiting carrying the body of the lord and the lord says to tell you that your waiting equals the labor so you will enter into adam's labor because that is the catch-up system that god has made available for you you believe me shout yes